Hello. Thanks so much for dropping in. I'm going to turn on this 64 here just because I don't know what's wrong with it yet, but I just really like this. These crazy, pa crazy patterns that this predicts. It's, it's going to change. It's going to change. Something. Oh. Now it's not changing. Maybe if I look away. Huh. Every other time. Maybe because I left the power supply plugged in. Every other time I turn this on, it would turn into a crazy display with letters running. And I, I know in some other video you've seen this. <coughs> hmm. Oh, isn't that special? The one time. I mean that, oh, here we go. Here, oh. Well, there it was. I'll look away. Nope. Very strange. What if I pick it up? <coughs> I wonder if it's a RAM thing. It's funny, if you touch a RAM chip that's bad, like really bad, It'll be, it, oh, something happened there. Probably, the, probably just a coincidence. Probably so. Anyway, but that is not why we are here. Oh, there we go. That is not why we are here. We are here. Oh, I saw it again. I'm going to turn this off. We're here because I have done bad things. Oh, dear God. Do not flip the power switch as you're trying to unplug things. <coughs> I'm going. Oh. oh no. And you know what I did? I did exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. I took my, my little roll of tape away to do something else. What did I take it away for? And then I forgot to bring it back. <sighs> anyway, what are we going to do? Well, actually, it's funny. I had told a fellow that I was going to turn this monitor around and show how it hooks up. Um, but i got to move more stuff first. So before that happens, I have done bad things. I have here a Commodore 64. And I do not know what it does, or what it doesn't do. I've heard that it probably doesn't work. So, make sure the power's turned off. We turn it on. Ooh, out of memory error. In zero. Ready. Interesting. It does seem consistent. It does seem very consistent. It's funny, I, as I have said many times, I don't need any more 64s. I don't need any more 1541s. Lock is down. Ooh, that's funky. <coughs> yeah, at least it's consistent. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Interesting.
It has been a while since I have seen a machine displaying this kind of thing exactly. And actually, I'm not sure if I have ever seen this exactly. But we'll see about that. Anyway, the long and the short of it is, I don't need any more Commodore 64s or disk drives or anything. But sometimes things happen. And today, things happened. So, let us open this up. Let's have a look. Ooh. Okay. <coughs> so it has a shield. It does. And it looks at first glance that everything might, might be socketed. That is always a good sign. It also seems there are some screws missing. Oh well, doesn't really make much difference. Is that just going to pop off? It has some screws. <clears throat> of the shields that they did have on these machines. screw is really stuck. Um, out of everything, I'm going to slime myself with this thing. I know it. It's got all this crap. Does it really matter if I get the screw out? No. Okay. Got the screw out. See? There's all this slime on here. It's important slime. But slime nonetheless. Yes. Oh. So as I look over at this other board that's gone wonky, they're, well, similar. Oh, there's another screw. Well, that's not good. Let's see if there's anything else shaking around in here. This is a assembly number 250425, and that's a 250425. This one was made in Hong Kong. This one? I'm not sure. Well, you know what? I, I'm sure it's going to be exactly the same as what it was moments ago. But when I find screws floating around inside, I wonder. And it's funny, I was talking to, yeah, it's the same. I was talking to Rudy of Rudy's Retro Intel, and he told of this fellow who spent hours and days and stuff diddling around with the 128 and trying everything and every chip and all the things, and then eventually found out that there was a wire underneath the board. Um, and it was a wire that was supposed to be there, but somehow it had been pierced by some sort of connection. And so something was touching something that shouldn't. And, of course, after all kinds of efforts and crazy things that he did, it ended up that was the problem, and all he really needed to do was move that wire or, you know, tape that wire or replace that wire or something so that the insulation was now back to where it should be and make sure it wasn't touching the contact that it was and everything was fine. So sometimes, yes, look for something obviously out of place. So, out of memory error in zero. And all the chips are socketed. How magical is that? Now, unfortunately, in this mayhem of mess here, let me look around. I'm just trying to see do I have another 64? that I trust to be a good test machine. 
I know downstairs I do, but I've got to get to them. Let me just swivel here. A lot of big 20s here. And other things. But not another 64 that I trust. Of course, I have one here that I know is squirrely. But how is it squirrely? I don't know. I'm just doing the finger touch to see what I feel in terms of heat. And I suppose I can do one thing that won't make any difference, but I'll do it anyway. I'll just give each chip ah, a gentle little pry and reseat them. The power is off, of course. Just a little tweak in case there's any micro corrosion. I'm not actually pulling them out. I'm just going underneath between the socket and the chip, but this one doesn't want to go, so I won't push it. Anyway, just lift them, tweak them. So if there is any micro corrosion, but it should be defeated. And of course, this will. What? Oh, it doesn't want to go back in. Okay, it's back in. Hang on. This ROM chip did not want to come out. Oh dear. Why, why, why? Why? Right. We're going to pop. Go to the other end. This really does not want to come out. <laughs> Let me summon my spectacles. Oh, oh yeah. Well, it looks like maybe. Maybe the socket is just a little different, and there doesn't seem to be the handy dandy little spacing. Boy, oh, that's annoying. Get this out. Now, to the screw, one screw holding the board. Yeah, that's a different socket. That is strange. <sighs> All right, I'll try. Oh, yeah, that worked. All right, popped it right out. Now, of course, once I secure all these things back in their appropriate sockets, this. I just did. I would be shocked if it does anything at all. But, oh, I suppose I could do this little guy here. I think I could. Just enough. Too is tough. Well, I moved them a bit. Anyway, I'll turn this on. It'll be exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Makes no difference. So, what could this be? Well, you know what? Before I carry on and see what this is, 
I'm going to find a 64 truck to swap things in and out of. It is tempting, of course, because I think this one here, the one that put on the, the funny show, which is also socketed, um, it may be a PLA chip. But then I don't trust this. I don't trust this. So generally, I try not to put anything into something I'm not sure of. In other words, I pretty much accomplished it. Not much. By the way, if I do seem a little, I don't know, off, I was boosted a couple of days ago. And I don't feel terrible, but I do feel a little, I don't know, drained. And I've had to take some pain stuff for headaches and aches and things and stuff. But, I figure a few days of this slight weirdness is better than one second in a hospital. I figure. Anyway. So yes, here we have a 64 displaying the same strange message out of memory. Interesting. I really, you know what? I don't remember ever exactly seeing one like this. I may have, but I just don't remember. So I'm going to go and hunt for a machine to test the chips in. Maybe I can do these two at the same time. And of course, oh, did I mention that actually today, <laughs> uh, all right, I don't need any more 64s. I don't, I don't, I don't. So today, I got four of them. Four. One, two, three, four, four. Anyway, so I have things to check out. And putter, and sort, and figure. I do. Anyway, uh, enough. I will go and hunt and try and speed up my thinking processes in my somewhat depleted state. So, as it happens, this is the last day of 2021. I'm hoping that by this same day, a year from now, the things are a little calmer. And, oh, wait, look. The lava lamp is sorting itself out. It did the weird stuff where it puts this funny thing up. But now it is heating up. And the first blob is going to shoot skyward, but not yet, but soon. I like the lab lamp, it's very calming, calming, anyway, and it's good to be calm when tinkering in these machines, because they can be at times, here it goes, here it goes, the first blob. There it goes, ever so slowly up. Anyway, these machines can be quite infuriating. So if you're in a bad mood or things haven't been going well, just walk away. Which is what I will do now. Not that I'm infuriated, but I am, you know. Off. So. I am. Oh, more, thing, more good things are happening in the lava lamp. So I'll leave that to cook. And uh, I'll be back. So, uh, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Mm, yeah, my arm is sore. Ow. Anyway, thanks for coming. Oh, there's one thing I just thought of I might try, just for fun. And it shouldn't work. But let's just see. I'm going to plug in Choplifter. But maybe, so 
Look, me, there's funny things going on on the screen. And things don't exactly sound right. <coughs> Here comes the tank. No, 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 no. I can't turn. There we go. And now we'll open up and kill him. Okay. So certainly there's weird thing. It is working. But the sound is not great. And there's extra stuff on the screen. Oh, I got 12 guys. Oh, here comes a tank. Here comes a whole bunch of tanks. If I can believe what I'm seeing, and maybe I can't. But I seem to have wiped out a whole bunch of tanks. And I think if all goes well, oh yeah, this is weird. Woohoo! I can kill more tanks. I can turn off the auto fire, which is very essential. And I can fly over yonder. And set these guys down. But there is kind of, I'm not sure if you can see that, there's kind of a, a strange looking mountain thing there. I don't know what that is. Anyway, certainly there are issues. But don't we all have issues? But this is encouraging. I'm just going to run my fingers over the ram chips again. Let's see if any of them say, make me say ow. And they don't. Interesting. Well, I saved everybody. Get much better than that. I kind of wish that the SID chip sounded better than that, but you know, you never know what's wrong. That's interesting. Remember, I was at the T Pug World of Commodore a couple years ago, and this fellow, who apparently is known as Jesus, came up and said that, you know, if you have a 64 that seems fine, if you really want to check the RAM, there are some of the Commodore cartridges, if you plug them in, they will, if there are RAM troubles, weird things will appear on the screen. Kind of like that. But I don't think this is one he mentioned. I don't think so. Anyway, enough for now. Um, I'll, uh, I'll go find a good 64 to check chips with and see what it is that can be found. Anyway, thank you again. Happy New Year. All the best. Bye for now.